Consider the reaction CuSO4 dot 5H2O goes to CuSO4 plus 5H2O. First question is, what do you observe when CuSO4 dot 5H2O is heated? And the second question is, how can you use this observation as a test for water? So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the reaction in real life, record our observations, and then think about how we can use the observation from the practical as a test for water. Alright. Yeah, fine, I'm just making a video. So I don't need the order from it, it's okay, I'm just doing this bit. Alright, can I have? You're recording. Yeah, it's okay. okay. I don't you don't need my voice. Okay. Those are the books that you are asking for. Where yes, you, yeah, yeah. Revision and practice. Yeah, perfect. I, they've lost theirs, I don't know where they put them. Yeah, okay. So it's the same for all the bills, it's exactly that. Yeah, it's a bit yeah, yeah. Thanks, I'm good. Thank you. We've heated the originally blue copper sulfate, the hydrated copper sulfate, CuSO4-5H2O, and it's become the white and hydrous copper sulfate and water which we've collected in that tube there. Because we know the blue copper sulfate turns white when water is removed, we can turn anhydrous or white copper sulfate blue by adding water. So if anhydrous or white copper sulfate turns blue when a liquid or a solution is added, we know that the liquid or solution that we're adding contains water. So this is some water. If we add it to our white copper sulfate, it'll turn blue. What do you observe when CuSO4 5H2O is heated? We found that the blue solid turns white and water is given off. And the second question says, how can you use this observation as a test for water? Well, we found that water turns white copper sulfate blue and the reaction gets hot. <laughs> 